Tuonella. So Tuonella is Amorphous's fourth release, and um, it would again show Amorphous at a very quick change of pace. On the last um, Elegy, you heard uh, a very transitional sound. Uh, you could definitely tell that they were um, feeling the growing pains of their more modern style. They were transitioning out of their old uh, old school death metal style into a more modern sound. Uh, with Tuonella, you could say that um, this is where they get their uh, first taste of that modern style. You get um, more of like a, a stoner rock feel on this one, and uh, the production has uh, increased significantly from um, Elegy. Elegy still had a very good production as well, but you could definitely tell it had that old school feel to it. Um, you could definitely tell um, something was going on. You could definitely tell it was transitioning into just a different era. To an L, you could easily say um, was moving into that new era. Um, this sounds like an album that um, could have been released today. Um, just the production style of it just um, sounds much more modern than uh, the three previous albums. It sounds like an album that could be released today. It has a much more timeless quality to it than the three previous releases. And I know this was released in 1999 when Pazi Kuskinen was still the lead singer, but it just has that feeling like if you released this album this year in 2013, it wouldn't feel out of place. It sounds like an album that uh, people wouldn't say, oh no, that sounds way too old. Like if uh, Tales from the Thousand Lakes or Elegy was released today, you could definitely tell um, it has a more old school production, so uh, people would probably say, hey, that sounds a bit dated, but it'd still be received very well. Um, it's just people would probably complain about the production style, I would imagine. Maybe people don't care, I don't know. But um, regardless, this still sounds like an album that would be released in uh, 2013, even though it was released uh, 14 years earlier. Uh, despite that, um, I don't think the uh, quality of this album overall uh, manages to live up to the expectations of albums like Tales from the Thousand Lakes and Elegy. I think this one sort of lags behind a little bit. I think, yeah, it's probably one of my least favorite Amorphous albums personally, but I'm not saying it's bad or anything. Uh, trust me, there's one coming up that will be even worse. But um, there's still some really good songs on here. The Way is a good opener. Um, Morning Stars, pretty good, I guess. Nightfall's pretty decent. Tuanella is a great title track. Uh, Greed is a million times better. Uh, Greed is definitely one of the standouts on here because this is the only time you ever hear Puzzy Kuskinen like growling in the studio other than like other projects like a hot tara or, or whatever, but um, this is the first time and the only time you ever hear him like do a real growl in the studio. And um, yeah, just in the studio. I know he's growled like some of the Tales from the Thousand Lakes songs live, but I mean, this is the only time with like um, um, that he growls in the studio just with a song that um, he uh, helped write the lyrics to actually, since it says right here. Uh, Divinity is a really solid single. I really like it a lot. Uh, Shining is, uh, eh, I don't know. It doesn't really hit me all that much. It just, um, well, it kind of hits me the wrong way, definitely. But it doesn't have that same punch as um, some of the other songs on here. I think it's one of the weakest Amorphous songs I've ever heard. I don't really like it all that much. Withered, on the other hand, is another great, great song. This one's a really good one. Rusty Moon, I heard, was Cover Kill Nation's all-time favorite Amorphous song. I think it's a really good one, definitely. It's not one of my favorites, but I still really like it a lot. I like the little flute thing that goes... Dun -dun 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 and, like, the, um... I think uh, after the verses or something, I'm not sure. Like, right before the, um, chorus, I think. It's really good. Um, Summer's End in... Yeah, this one is awesome. This is probably my all-time favorite amorphous song with Puzzy Kuskinen on lead vocals. Damn, this one is a powerful closer. I love the melodies. I love the lyrics. I love Puzzy's vocals here. Um, it's I love the uh, rhythm, the drum beat. It's a very steady paced, but just a very 
very emotionally captivating song. Um, it's probably one of my top 10 favorite amorphous songs of all time. If I made a listing of top 10 favorite amorphous songs, it would no doubt be in there. It's so damn strong. I love it. But yeah, despite some really strong songs on here, I think um, there's some weak moments here and there that kind of, uh, sort of, I wouldn't say destroy the flow, but um, I don't know, just kind of um, water it down a little bit. Uh, the flow doesn't feel all that complete, um, and uh, the there are some songs in here which I don't feel are up to amorphous caliber, and... Um, uh, I wouldn't really call it a shame, but um, I don't consider it a disappointment or anything like that because the songs that are strong in here are really strong. But um, I don't know, some of the weaker moments in here, like Nightfall and Shining, they, um, I don't know, those songs just don't really seem to measure up and uh, they kind of bring the score of this album down a little bit. Uh, while I'm glad to have picked this up, it's not one that I spin regularly. Um, it's uh, not one that I have on heavy rotation on my iPod or anything like that. But uh, I still think it's uh, a good album for what it is. I would probably have to give it about a uh, something ranging from like a 7.5 to a 7.75 out of 10. It's still very solid for what it is. There's just a couple weaker moments here and there that kind of bring the album down a little bit for me. But yeah, it's definitely not a disappointment. It's still a good, good album that I'm glad I picked up. Um, um, just for summer's end alone, it's worth picking up. And that's about it. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for Um Universum.